everyone, welcome back to our morning mingle. Today is Wednesday, September 2nd, and we have an exciting day ahead. So we better get started. Are you ready to stretch and wake up your bodies with me? Well, even if you aren't, let's do it. Here we go. Reach your arms way out to the side and hold them there. We're going to count to 10. Reach one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome job. Let's reach forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome job. We're going to reach up to the ceiling. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome. Now we're going to reach down to the floor. See if you can touch your toes. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome job. All right, let's roll our shoulders. We're gonna go backwards first and then forwards. Let's do it five times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Excellent. Forwards. One, two, three, four, and five. Great job. And we're gonna reach our arms across our body. If you're able to bring your other arm up, pull it nice and close. Let's count to seven on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent job. Reach across the other way. Pull that arm nice and close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome job. Now we're going to reach above our head. Bend your elbow. If you're able to bring that other arm up, pull. Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent job. Other arm. Bend your elbow. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent job, everybody. Let's do chair twists. So we're going to turn in our chair and we're going to count to seven. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. To the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great job, everybody. All right, our next one, we're gonna reach over our heads and lean. Very good. Counting to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome job. Are you ready to go to the other side? Here we go. Stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great job. Now let's do our wrist circles. Remember if you can just do one at a time, that's fine. Move your fingers, finger circles. Let's do this as we count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. All right, arm circles to finish up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, everybody. Shake it out. All right, today is September 2nd. Let's see what our national days are. It's National Play Outside Day. National Blueberry Popsicle Day, hmm, sounds messy. And National VJ Day, which was the end of World War II. On this day in history, in 1901, Theodore Roosevelt says his famous quip, speak softly and carry a big stick. In 1969, the first ATM, automatic teller machine, is installed. And in 1995, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame opens in Cleveland, Ohio. Our weather today, to see if we can celebrate Play Outside Day, is a high of 85 and a low of 62. It is going to be cloudy, but there's not much chance of rain, so hopefully you'll get to go out there and enjoy some warm weather. Our joke of the day. Here we go. What? is orange and sounds like a parrot. 
Hmm. A carrot! <laughs> I liked it. Alright, our theme this week has been rainforest and jungle. We keep um, learning about that really important area in our world and we're specifically looking at animals. So today we're going to talk about the rainforest at night. Remember we talked yesterday about the rainforest during the day and some of the animals there. We're going to now talk about the rainforest at night. While you sleep, another part of the world is wide awake. The rainforests are as busy at night as they are in the day. Life goes on, but with different faces. The light goes quickly from the rainforest. The trees under a heavy green canopy keep some light from ever reaching the ground, even during the daytime. Darkness comes first to the forest floor, as silently as the paws of a jaguar. In the rainforests of Central and South America, you will find many animals, including the jaguar. The jaguar is a large spotted cat. He hunts in the jungle at night and lives in South America. Some jaguars are black and they are hard to see in the darkness. They hunt many animals and they are not the only night hunters. Margays are small cats. They live up in the trees and they catch animals as well. Another cat is an ocelot. They live on the ground. Sometimes they are awake during the day though. Other animals awake at night are the tapir. It's a black and white animal. It looks a bit like a miniature elephant with a very short trunk. They eat plants along the rivers and some people call them mountain cows. <laughs> some of the night animals are small like the paca. It's a rodent that lives on the ground. It often eats fallen fruit and one animal lives in the trees. It's very hard to see. It's a sloth. A sloth moves very little. It looks green from the algae that grows in its fur and it moves at night. Many insects are also awake at night. Mosquitoes, other ants. Ants never stop working. They do not care if it's day or night. Some live in the trees or the forest floor. There are other rainforests in the world. In Madagascar, we find the little Aya. It's a tiny monkey with large eyes. It hunts insects in the darkness and only lives in Madagascar. Australia also has some rainforests and some interesting animals. One of those is the bandicoot. They hunt for insects at night. They are marsupials, which are mammals that have a pouch, like a kangaroo. Bandicoots sleep in burrows during the day, so they go under the ground and come out at night. Another night hunter is an anchimus. Anchimus? Oh man, that's a interesting animal. They are very quick and a small hunter and eats night insects and spiders. Some rainforest kangaroos are awake at night as well. They climb the trees and eat many leaves, fruit, and berries. The Echidia in the platypus are like the darkness at dawn and sunset. The Echidia eats ants and the platypus eats small water animals. Even with all we know, there are still animals that we have never even seen. Rainforests are getting smaller, but thousands of animals live there. So that's another reason that we should keep them safe. So in your packet, you have another really fun coloring page that has some of our nighttime animals on there. You can color it a little darker, see those different animals. Very cool. Oh, there's a sloth up at the top. That's one of my favorite animals. Nice and slow. <laughs> our daily discussion today. Since it's National Play Outside Day, what is your favorite thing to do when you are outside? Are you someone who likes to garden or play different games with each other? Maybe blow bubbles, do something fun? Or are you more of a relaxer, sitting and watching and listening? That's more my speed. <laughs> or do you like to go on a walk and go on a little adventure? What is one of your favorite things to do? Or 
Do you like all of them? I'd love to hear what you like to do. Also, since it is Play Outside Day, our challenge is to go and do something just for a little bit outside if you are able. So even maybe it's go outside and do these stretches that we talk about in the morning. Go get a little fresh air, maybe walk a bit around your deck or your yard, and then you can come back in and relax. So enjoy some outdoor time today. On our YouTube channel, we have the next few chapters of Holes. We are very close to the end. So these are chapters 44 through 47. And then today we're gonna have some fun and games on Zoom with Erin and Denise at 12.30. Let me know if you need that link and we'll send it over so you can enjoy and join in on the fun. We will see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Bye everyone.